right, now that we have SSH enabled, we need a tool to connect to our Pi. And we're going to download PuTTY. Simply go to PuTTY.org, click the download button, and we're going to select our operating system for Windows. We're going to use a 64 bit. I've already got it installed here, so download it. Select your run and go through the options and you should see something similar to this. So <clears throat> after that we can type in that a or the IP number we got earlier and then we can give it a name. I've already got mine name so here was our IP address and here is our name for that load and you can hit save and that will save it as one of the options and simply click load. Oh, correction. Open. There we go. Now we're getting that login. And we're going to type in pi raspberry and we're loaded in. I'm going to go ahead and clear off the screen. So we can go ahead and get our pi updated. And with that, we're going to do a sudo app dash git update. Oh, too many spaces. Run. Okay, that's going to go through. Um, this could take a while, depending on your internet connection. Um, we got what, make it a half? So it shouldn't take too terribly long. Well, we'll let that run and I'll be right back. Okay, so that only took about a minute. And the next part is we want to upgrade. So if you press up, you should see uh, your last command. I'm just going to do upgrade. And I'm going to give that a dash yes so it's not going to ask us to continue. Enter. And just let that go while it uh, gets all your upgrades. So we'll come back in just a minute. Alright, that took about mm, two minutes to finish up. So we got our upgrade. And now we're going to download our RAID controller. It's going to be sudo. Alright, so now we're going to download our RAID controller. We're going to do a sudo. Try it again. sudo app dash git install m d a d m enter oh I should probably spell install correctly okay and just like before uh, it's gonna go through and download here it's gonna ask us we're gonna tell it yes to continue simple y and this shouldn't take too terribly long But we will come back in just a minute when it's finished. Alright, the RAID controller just finished installing. And so from here, we can go ahead and plug in our um, storage devices. In the pictures before, you can see I used two one terabyte hard drives. But because those two terabytes took uh, close to 12 hours to completely RAID, we're just going to use two USB sticks for this example. Alright, so next we need to get our storage devices. Um, I used two one terabyte hard drives in my previous RAID I built for my home. Um, we're not going to be using that for this example because that took over 12 hours to RAID in total. Instead I'm going to use these two USB hard drives I got, or USB drives. Um, so to start off with, we need to completely format them. Simple process. We're just going to plug it into our machine here. And if it doesn't pop up, just file explore out to it. And 
you can go to this PC, new volume, see it's only 3.03 .03 gigs large. I'm going to right click and select format. I'm going to do NTFS, uh, label doesn't matter, and to start. It should take but a second. Now when you do this, you will lose all memory or all saved data on the device. So make sure you only do this with something that you're not using at the moment. So that's our first one. Uh, I'm going to eject it. There we go. And our next one. Our next one's a little bit larger. I don't have two tiny drives. This one's 32, but I believe it should work anyways. So we're going to format, same thing. NTFS, uh, label to the matter, and click start. Okay. Give it a second. And this one will take a bit longer because it is a bit larger. Okay, there. So now we have both our drives formatted with a fresh, uh, well, fresh format. So go ahead and plug them into your Pi. And I like to do above each other. You can do side by side. Positioning really doesn't matter. As long as you don't intend on moving it later. Because when we format this, it's going to be using the UUID and moving it around just complicates things. So, there you go. We just plugged our USBs in. And just to make sure that all this upgrading, and updating, and installing is finished and very good, I'd like to restart. And to do that, type in sudo. Try that again. sudo init init and 6. Init 6 is the restart. Init 0 is shutdown. So we'll do 6 for a restart. Now it will disconnect you off your party session. No problem. It shouldn't take too long for it to reconnect. And that should be enough time. If it's not, it'll yell at us. It appears that's not enough time. Okay, well, close it. Let's try one more time. File server open. There we go. And remember our password, pi is our username, R-A-S-P-B-E-R-R-Y. Yep, there we go. Okay, and we're back in. I'm gonna clear, get rid of that junk text. Okay, so now we're gonna run a sudo, and it's gonna be B-L-K-I-D. Now you can see here, we have a SDA1, SDA2 and SB, SB, SDB1. And if you remember the name we used earlier, new volume and 32 gig. So it appears our ones are what we need. So these are the two USB devices we plugged in. And you can see it does detect it, so that's good. If you do not detect yours, uh, make sure your USB is seated all the way, try a different port, and try reformatting it again. And you can see NTFS, NTFS, so that's good. All right, so we confirm that it can see them. Thank you for watching. Any links to tools can be found down below. Please leave a comment if these steps did or did not help you. And thank you for watching.